Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Rusty Rule the Waves playthrough, where we've turned the tide of war with Germany. Uh, we're currently blockading that empire. Uh, as you can see, Northern Europe, zoom to. Uh, we have a bunch of forces in theater uh, in service. Northern Europe. So, oh, and you're getting a little chunk of the folder I launched it from in the background. Okay. So, um, Do we want any more of these to take some destroyers off Coastal Patrol? Maybe? They're cheap. But they're not that cheap, given that we're already in the red, and I would rather have some of these things done. <coughs> so, let's see. Uh, I think I want to leave one battleship on the East Coast. Uh, an armored cruiser is still on the East Coast. We have one armored cruiser in Europe. Uh, the crew is elite now because it sank a bunch of things. Uh, I'm going to move a good cruiser to Northern Europe. I'm going to move one of the elite poor cruisers back to East Coast. Oh no, actually that was from the Caribbean. Oops. Uh, I think. Yeah, yeah it was. Alright. Bunch of destroyers on the West Coast. Bunch of destroyers there. Um, bunch of things in Southeast Asia. All right, I'm going to send some more Perkins destroyers to Northern Europe. <coughs> All right, that will crimp our budgets even more with the high maintenance, but there's the brakes. Uh, okay. We took the Carolines, excellent. Keep going. Ah, Chicago intercepts a German raider. Let's do this. <clears throat> it's day, light rain.
sighted. Come up to 25 knots. Oh, that's quite close. What's our sighting? Ah, down to only 15,000 yards. That's why. Uh, oh, yes, and I have to, sorry. I have to swap so that you can see everything. I forget that I have to swap my stream settings every time. All right, we've opened fire. It claims that it's a battleship. I find that unlikely. But God help us if it is. I really hope it's not actually a Freya class because that would be super bad. because we would be hilariously outmatched and would have to rely on our torpedoes. We only have six six inch guns, 12 three inch guns. Three and a half inch built, built. Yeah, I wish our armored cruiser had intercepted their armored cruiser. I mean, it could still just be a misidentification. But I sort of doubt it. Before I have tall hit. Uh, no, if they've identified her as a class, that's what it is, I'm pretty sure. If it's just a type, then it's possibly wrong. So yeah, this is going to be a very lopsided battle. But in the finest traditions of the U.S. Navy, we're going to press the attack. See if we can get a torpedo off. Although, I also don't know if we'll catch... Up. What is our torpedo range? We're almost in torpedo range. Uh, splinter hit. All right, at least kind enough to let us cross the T. But it's not letting us get close enough for a torpedo launch. Uh, max speed of 21 knots. Not much more belt than us, but it does have more torpedoes and way more armament. Hey, Sound of Fury. All right, we're still requesting 25, making 22. They're probably up to 20 or 21. So we're not gaining much. Stiff breeze. What's the strong breeze? West, southwest.
And we're back down to 19 knots because we spun around a bunch. They're still at 20 knots. And the rain stopped, although our sighting range did not go up very much because it's still overcast. Actually, let me check on damage. We still have a bunch of ammo, although we're four turret is almost out of AP, it looks like. The wing turrets are okay. Um, some deliberate fire. Hit chance, 2.45. That's what we know. That's what we like to see. Uh, so we've taken some structural damage, not much flotation damage. <coughs> All right. I really hope we can close to get a torpedo hit, but they are maneuvering enough that I'm not sure that will happen. Well, here we go. For what we are about to receive, we're down to 15 knots. We took another bad hit, but let's hope that we can get some torpedoes off. We're definitely in torpedo range. We're stupidly close. They hit us. And water belt hit. Come on, get back up to speed. 22 knots. Great. So our main guns are in trouble. Our secondaries are knocked out. Yeah, if we can't get a torpedo hit, we'll have to break off. Uh-oh, they got a good hit in. We're down to nine knots. We have to break off. Uh-oh. This is bad. They're going to sink us.
Why is the local time? Oh, now the local time's advancing. Great. So it was high noon. We're down to one knot. And they're coming back. This is not good. Happily, their gunnery is very poor. Turret destroyed. Yeah, this is not going to end well. And night won't save us because it's too far away. Oh, why don't you launch torpedoes? You're in torpedo range. Well, that's why. Because there's no way it would have hit because Freya came about. We're shipping water. One knot. Great, the one time it's actually a daytime battle, we're hilariously outmatched. Uh oh, salt water enters feed tanks. There goes our propulsion. So name shipper for class gonna sink. But our turret's back in action, so there's that. Uh, we have the port wing turret, forward and stern turret. But we have no way to get underway, so we can't change our heading. Shipping water. We gonna sink. <laughs> yep. A crushing victory by the Germans. Central firing, finally. All right, I have somewhat more hope for this. All right, 
we have an actual cruiser this time. So let's run until we sight the foe. So we'll pull into line ahead and retire on flag. Meanwhile, Brooklyn will work up to her flank speed. Interesting, more ships. I guess they have a destroyer screen. Oh, that's a lot of ships. And I'm going to take control of this division again. Uh, boss, yes, that's correct. Yep, I have one armored cruiser and two light cruisers. And of course it is going to turn into a night action. <laughs> because that's my life now. Because for some reason, when we're outmatched, it's a day action, and when they're outmatched, it's a night action. And they're swiftly running away. I guess because they saw the armored cruiser coming after them, trying to do unto them what they have just done unto me, even though they actually have a whole destroyer division behind them. And away they go. And it's twilight, so we can't see, oh, it's full night. It was twilight, so we can't even see them anymore. These are not the historical classes. The point of this game is everybody design their, designs their own ships and it's great. Whoop. Nighttime destroyer attack. Yeah, they changed course after nightfall.
All right. Looks like either they did something stupid or they finally decided to engage. So let's unmask our broadsides. Oh, I think they just did something stupid. They're not actually engaging. Destroyer. That's always nice. Great. Raleigh's going to have to slow down and is dropping behind. So Baltimore is clearly the only one doing her job. And one of those destroyers has slowed down and will be easy pickings for the rest of us. Let's keep the chase up. And let's verify that we've shifted targets. Good, we have. Haven't we? No, we didn't. Why is Baltimore still... Uh... Oh, that's fine. All right, I accept. That's fine. No, why are you still firing... Mm. Get that destroyer division. How's Raleigh doing on speed? Twenty knots. Alright, you're going to go to AI control because you're no longer actually really that useful at 20 knots. Actually, no. You're going to chase down that destroyer. Baltimore is down to 23 knots, and these things are still 25 knots, so we're not going to catch them.
Okay. Now you can go back to AI control because we sank that destroyer. Now let's look over here and see how we're doing. 24 knots. All right, now we're gaining on these things. Now we're gaining on these things. Brooklyn's coming up on us soon. Finally, we actually use our torpedoes. Wow. Finally, we get a torpedo off. That was very nice. Although how that thing has not instantly sunk, I don't know. Oops. <sighs> Should have turned at the last moment. So they won again because they damaged it. <sighs> I'm a bit over aggressive, I guess, but I was thinking I should really turn and too late. All right.
at least our VP is quite a bit higher than theirs because we've been blockading them. But even so, it should be even higher, and it's not. All right, finally, we actually have a good naval budget now. Okay, you're not scary. Oh, can we get main battery wing turret soon? We can make German style dreadnoughts. Fleet battle, all right. It better be during the day. Here we go. Now that is a proud sight. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how proud that sight is. Let's hope it's more conclusive than Jutland. I will do my best to make it more conclusive than Jutland, believe me. Uh, and I'm gonna save it just in case, <laughs> in case something happens. All right, so we have, man, we have a lot of ships. Order of battle, Bat Div 1 is flag on Delaware, followed by New York. Bat Div 5, flag on Michigan, North, Car North Dakota, and Bat Div 7, Arizona bringing up the rear. Now, I think they're all New York class. It looks like. All right, so then we have Desdiv 2, Desdiv 6, and Desdiv 8, and Crew Div 3 in the van scouting with Brooklyn and Raleigh. Then Light Cruiser Div 4 with Des Moines. Oh, so Raleigh is probably in the Light Cruiser Division then. All right, so this is a serious business battle. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our line of battle under AI control except for the flagship. So everyone will turn in line of battle. Let me familiarize myself with 10 inch belt. That's, I thought we only had a nine inch belt. That's great. 412, 16, 7 inch, 3 inch, and max speed of 20 knots, which is better than any pre dreadnought that ever pre dreadnoughted. So these are these are decent pre dreads. And screened by a whole bunch of destroyers, which we're going to leave under AI control for now, so I can fight this battle. All right, so let's see what we find. That's a, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hopefully the battle will not be that long. Let's come into contact with something. Unknown ship sighted. All right, and it's before noon, so it's not gonna be dusk. All right, everybody come up to max. And we're gonna keep at 18 knots so that the rear can keep up with us. 
um, if we went all the way up to 20 knots, then this formation would get disrupted because anytime we turned, then distance would open up. So there's our contact. We're going to keep on current course for now. Let's run time forward and see what happens. Second contact. Let's get sights up. More contacts. All right, so that's going to this is going to be their screen, presumably a set of light cruisers. So I'm going to back off to 18 knots on our screen to keep broadly in line with the battleships who are now up to 18 knots. Excellent. And let's see what happens. An armored cruiser, maybe a light cruiser. Probably that armored cruiser we just tussled with. Nope, it's a light cruiser. All right, let's see if they will come out to play with our battleships. Nope, they're running away. Making for Danzig. Alright, so we'll come up to 20 knots on the battle line and flank on our cruisers and see if we can each catch something. Another unknown ship. Yes, that's going to be the battle line. Probably. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's a battle line. And we're going to cross their T. screen is retiring. Yep, look at those destroyers around the battle line there. I think. They're turning a bit fast. Who knows? Alright, we're gonna come about a little bit. And we're going to bring our screen in in a pincer.
worried about them turning away, so we're not going to bother with trying to cross the T. We just want to engage them, because I have faith that my battleships are better than their battleships, basically. Uh, but let's back off to, 20, to 18 knots so that we can get our formation back together. All right. That is indeed their battle line. The Ringen class. They are also 20 knots. Interesting. Undergunned, less belt armor. Similar secondaries. So a very similar matchup. However, we outnumber them five to four. And they have less punch and less armor. On the same displacement. But more secondaries. So we want to keep the range open so that uh, they won't penetrate us and the secondaries don't come into play. And we'll let Brooklyn fight in the line of battle because she's actually like almost as good as a pre dread with a six inch belt and 10 inch rifles. Visselbach class. Uh, pardon me for murdering German names. 19 knots. 412 inch. 13 inch belt! Good lord. Okay. Well, that's a recent build. That's actually slightly scary because there's no way we're going to pierce a 13 inch belt unless we're stupidly close. All right, so looks like they're committing to a fleet action, so I'm going to bring my screen back. So unless the force estimate was utterly screwed. Yeah, so they have two of those and two of those, and I have basically five of these. So it's an alarmingly close matchup. How they man... Right, I am I am playing this modded out the wazoo, so the AI has actually competent ship designs. <laughs> Which is scary because I no longer feel I have competent ship designs because it's been like three years since I've played this game. Yeah, I last played this game before I... Wait, I last played this game... Uh... right after 1.2 came out. <laughs> so, two and a half years ago. All right, our line is reformed. The other thing we can do is we do have high speed. We have a knot on those little spot class. So we could try to get the formation to open up, as they already have done, and concentrate our fire and take some things out. And of course, they're turning around. Do they really want to not actually have a battle? Maybe. I, what are they even doing? What's the range on these? 
that is a very short range for a battleship. <laughs> I'm going to bring my screen in behind Brooklyn. Screen flag on Brooklyn. All right, so they are now crossing RT, but we're far enough out of range that it doesn't actually matter. They've opened fire, so it's time to shake out into line of battle. And our cruiser divisions will deal with the screen. Let's let's actually send one of these destroyer divisions to shepherd the cruiser. Ah, it's, it's Perkins class division. So actually we want to keep that. Nah, that's fine. What happened to Raleigh? Why is Raleigh detached? Whatever. Um, on. So Brooklyn is taking some fire. going to slow down even further such that the line can come back together. Why is she only doing 15 knots? No log entries. That's disturbing. way.
I guess it bounced off the belt. Alright, we're going to turn away. Well, our light forces are going to turn away. And there's Arizona way the heck over there. Being blitheringly stupid. All right, our line is shaking out again. Good. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is going to happen now? This is a remarkably inconclusive fleet action. Like, I'm not sure anyone has landed a penetrating hit yet. <laughs> Let's get up to 19 knots. a little closer. Now they are in a disturbingly perfect position to cross the T, but they seem to be fleeing. <laughs> Engines are giving trouble. Great. Down to 21 knots. So we're going to go over and harry their light forces. You know what? Let's let's do some damage. Let's send our destroyers in and see if we can slow something down.
Well, let's see how this works. Hopefully it will put confusion to their formation as they try to dodge torpedoes, and that will slow them down enough for a battle line to catch up. And let's put this screen back on battleships. It's not doing any good out there. This is about to get very, very hectic. Here we go, let's see if we can get any torpedoes off. Oh man. Happily, nobody has any kind of torpedo defenses. So Terry was just hit badly. Terry was hit with chip. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see if anybody gets a torpedo off. Nope. Nope, apparently we don't know how to launch torpedoes. <laughs> we can get rammed by battleships. Oh, you said one of our destroyers did launch torpedoes? Oh, they just didn't hit, I guess. I didn't see anything. I saw torpedo tubes hit. I saw torpedo tubes hit. I didn't see torpedoes launched. All right, so let's get the destroyers out of there. But we succeeded in forcing those battleships to turn very, very sharply. So let's see if we can catch up and do something.
Look at that, that's down to five knots. Did we hit her with a torpedo? Oh no, she, right, she rammed that destroyer. And that did a bunch of damage, or at least slowed her down enough for us to catch. This thing out here, not so much. So the destroyers did their job at quite impressive cost. So we're going to send our armored cruiser over to try to shepherd those remaining destroyers. All two of them. Uh, crew Div 3. And that can go with the battleships. Back up to 10 knots. All right, now it will be an armored cruiser versus a bunch of battleships and we'll see how well that works. Signals misunderstood because, of course, they are. All right, even if we only take out an armored cruiser, it'll be quite a victory despite losing eight destroyers. Well, six destroyers, I guess. I forget, don't even know how many sank. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of 12 inch hits on Freya or whatever ship this is. It's a Freya class ship. And we're closing on that battleship. And there go the other battleships, but don't care about them. If they want to flee, that's great because it means we can pick the this thing off. This day is turning out much better than I feared, all thanks to the sacrifice of the destroyerman.
All right, we can pick off that cripple later. If Arizona doesn't already, let's deal with these battleships. So we'll come back to 18 knots. And heading about there. Destroyers are dealing with the destroyers. The battleships. It's basically two to one on battleships right now because the Zeringans are out there. Sorry. Zeringen? I, I don't know how you pronounce that. Yeah, no, it's basically Medal of Honors all around. Oh, for crying out loud. Which one is bad Div 5? Michigan and North Dakota. Great. Are they going to like peel off and do something crazy? That's going to be super annoying as we're trying to deal with these things. I will control Arizona now. So many misunderstood signals. It's almost like this is the 1900s, the early 1900s. Everybody's misunderstanding signals. <laughs> All right, so we've driven off their light forces. Oh, I bet her steering gear was jammed, and that's why she's circling around. Uh-oh. Arizona lost her turret. Stern turret. This thing is probably running for dear life now and we'll get, proceed to get away. Because there's nothing we have that can catch it.
this turned into quite the snarl, but we did take quite a bit with us. It's at 20 knots. I really doubt that. Yeah, they're they're going to make it to port before I can really do anything. Unless those iron engines start coming back, which they seem to be doing. Yep, and they're turning about too. All right, so let's shake back out into line of battle. How is how did that get back up to fifteen knots already? That's crazy. I thought she was nearly sinking and she's back up to fifteen knots. Signals misunderstood because, of course, they are. Wait, how did it go back down to light damage? I thought we'd nearly sank the thing. <laughs> I guess it just must have had a bunch of disabling hits that they repaired. Well, shoot. I thought we were going to net ourselves a battleship, but it's increasingly looking like. We will not. So now I have to make the call on whether I want to let that one go and focus on the other one, which is probably not reachable either. It's now running for Danzig. All right. Well, guys, it's time to do your thing again. See if we can catch her in time.
down to 10 knots. That's a good sign. Jam steering gear again. Well, let's come over to the other tack. Well, that's a good sign. That's the destroyer division. Yes, I spend my light forces a little freely. Gotta slow these things down somehow. Alright, back to heavy damage. Don't know whether that's just turret out of action again or if it's actually heavy damage. Swing out a little bit and unmask. Yes, now we've unmasked the stern turret. Good. Okay, now we can swing back a little bit. It'd be nice if there were some sort of UI to automatically steer to unmask. Like steer as close a course as possible while keeping your turret unmasked. Uh, we're about to ram. <laughs> Looks like. That was a little close. And here come the destroyers. two things at once. Oh, both of Arizona's turrets are back in action. Excellent. For a while, her after turret was out of action. We jam from a hit. That's excellent. here. Steering a few points closer. And we actually have to steer away a little bit so we can unmask that turret. All right. And let's look over here. All right, so at least we launched some torpedoes, but none of them hit. Let's see if we have any torpedoes left. One left, two left, three left, two left, one left. We can make another pass.
trip isn't doing much of anything else. Jarvis is detached. That's continuing apace, and it's going to port itself in Pilau in just a minute. Meanwhile, over here, crazy light forces are crazy. All right, heavy damage and on fire. Is there a torpedo ammo? Yes, there is. Thank you. So, the other one escaped. So let's hunt down some light forces. Meanwhile, over here, Signals misunderstood again. All right, Warrington has flag. Hey, I saw the torpedoes launch that time. They just barely missed. And then they also just barely missed USS Perkins. <laughs> All right, but it certainly looks like we've done enough damage that that battleship will not be hitting home port today. All right, so we're going to harry those things. All right, and that armored cruiser sank finally. Took forever. Pretty sure I know how that's going to end. So let's support Arizona. So 
So I only have to maneuver one ship now. And let's come down to 10 knots. Meanwhile, over here, our cruisers are doing some work. There's Lamps. Oh, did Lampson just get hit by something? Probably. Where is Lampson anyway? Oh, over here. Uh, Okay, there's no need for you to sink. We've already lost enough destroyers today. I don't know why Lampson is going that way, but whatever. Michigan misunderstood again. Uh, let's put you in support of Brooklyn. And let's switch Brooklyn over to actual control. Come back up to max and chase down the rest of the light forces over here. Because I really don't think that Arizona needs any more help with this. So if that destroyer wants to run this way, it's welcome to. Right into the teeth of the rest of us. Hmm. 
man, USS Trip is going to have like no room aboard whatsoever. Signals much understood because of course they were. All right, so we've ceased off chasing after anybody who fled to the northeast, and we're now dealing with the stragglers. Good thing their torpedoes are as useless as our torpedoes. All right, Arizona is out of sight, but that's okay because Really pretty sure that thing sank. <laughs> it did. Okay. We're going to set up the battleships as a backstop here. And the light cruisers up that way. Wow, we fought all the way from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., almost 8 p.m.
Ha! That thing is going right for Arizona. Good thing Arizona's in the way. It's come about. Thing's gonna get away. Oh, there's another destroyer down here. Uh-oh, <laughs> that's not good. How did, wait, where was, where is Trip anyway? There's Jarvis, where's? Trip was the thing picking up all the survivors. What is it doing striking a mine? over there. That was faintly ridiculous. So there's a destroyer over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> so the thing that picked up literally every survivor of the battle struck a mine and is sinking. Oh dear. So everybody can't see each other anymore. Except for this last thing.
stokers are exhausted. I wouldn't be surprised. They've been stoking forever. Hidden advantage of oil-fired ships don't require stokers. Yeah, they suckered me in near that land target, the coastal battery, but oh well. The battleships will silence it. It's only 8 inch. And that's going to that's going to get out of range shortly unless for some reason darn it I detached Lamson for a reason and it still managed to sink all right the battleships are doing a number on that coastal battery Now we're finally landing some hits. Of course they were. Alright, I've had enough of this. I don't think we're going to destroy that coastal battery, but we have suppressed it for sure. One last Parthian shot.
All right. Wait, what? What unknown ship? Really? Where is Raleigh anyway? Oh, Raleigh totally lost contact with the division, as it said. I guess we have one more thing to try to sink. out of sight of the flag so we can't make it follow on. It's a transport. <laughs> if we have it on independent, maybe it'll chase down the transport. Probably not. Nope, it won't. All right, let's guess on an intercept course. It was about here, I think. Oh, didn't get there in time. All right, well, that was a crushing victory. <laughs> so we lost seven destroyers in exchange for a pre-dread, an armored cruiser, 10 of their destroyers, and an auxiliary. We damaged a land target heavily. We almost destroyed it. Medium damage to two destroyers, light damage to three of the battleships. Oh, thank you, Sound and Fury. That's what I get for not actually looking at the log. All right, so that was a crushing victory. That was that was indeed a crushing victory. That was not as crushing as like Tsushima or something, but oops, wrong page. So let's accept all of that. Four thousand VP. Battle of Danzig Bay. All right, that is a much better balance of victory points. I like that much better. We still don't have a lot of money. Um, hang on. Uh, Open design. All right. So we're stuck with 600 ton destroyers. Can we squeeze an extra knot out? Yes, we can. Excellent. only got three inch guns. I bet that's gonna, yeah, 
lower the rate of fire. If we had four inch guns. Given how useless torpedoes are. Well, up to four inch guns and have only two mounts. Does that make sense? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, they just seldom fired any torpedoes, so why would we? That's for sure going to get a... Oh. Huh. All right. So we'll just carry less ammunition. All right. So this will be a gun destroyer. Two four inch and a three inch. This is a heck of a gun destroyer. But that seems to be all we can do because our torpedoes suck. So let's go with it. And let's lay down a couple. Development costs are cheap. All right. Sweet. All right. I probably should head on to bed, it being fairly late o'clock. So I think I'll leave it there. Thanks, everyone, for watching this finally actual victory in the war against Germany. So, good night.